As a Unix system, Mac OS X includes a wealth of internet technologies. For example, on Mac OS X server, you have the Apache web server. This is a best of breed open source web server that runs a large number of websites on the internet. You've got that all in the power of your own server here with Mac OS X server. Let me show you how it's configured. Here we are in server admin. This is the tool that you use as part of the admin tool suite on Mac OS X server. Right now we're looking at the overview. You can see that the web service is currently stopped and we're using Apache 1.3.4.1. There's two versions of Apache included in Mac OS X server, Apache 1 and Apache 2. If you'd like to use Apache 2, you can use this upgrade Apache version button, and that'll allow you to migrate from version 1 to version 2. Version 2 is fully 64-bit, uh, works with different modules, and provides for much larger file sizes since it is 64-bit. In this case, for this demo, we're just going to stick with Apache 1. First of all, go to your Sites pane here, and you can see the basic default site that's been set up. A couple of the options that you have here, you can enable spotlight searching to allow your users to actually search for content on your site. Folder listing, web dev, CGI execution, server side includes all common web technologies that can be enabled just with the click of a box. In Realms, you can actually set up password protected areas within your website to allow users out of your open directory database be able to authenticate to get into your website. So if you have some material that you don't want the entire world to see, you can keep it down to just a certain select group of users. Where to put the log files, whether to use SSL or not, aliases and web services. This is where you can get into some of the collaboration in Mac OS X server, all contained within this web services pane here. We're not going to look at that right now. Instead, all we're going to do is start web. As simple as that, our web server has been started on our server. We can now go to Safari, just type in the DNS name, and there is our sample web page that we have. If you want to do more, you're more than welcome to take your own HTML files and put it into this system. Let's go and do that right now. So we're back in server admin. I can go in and create a new website. I actually have an ecological club that I'm a member of that I want to make a website for. So let's go in and we'll call this eco.example.com. Put that in there. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to choose my HTML files that I have here, right here in this eco folder. Hit save. Make sure that that website's enabled. I'm going to stop this web service and start it back up again so that it knows that a change to the configuration has been made. So now let's go back into Safari, type in that URL, and there's our new web page. I've got my whole adventure club set up here, and I'm able to host both that adventure club and the original URL both at the same time. So Apache makes it very easy to do virtual hosts between two or more systems, two or more web pages, all of the content separate and secure from each other. So you can host a variety of different pages. I can also go back to server admin, to the main item up here on the left hand side, go to certificates, and I'll see that I've got a default SSL certificate that's already been installed. I can use this for my website, or I could create a brand new certificate if I wanted to or I could pay to have a certificate issued to me and then import it into this. Once a certificate has been put into there, I can go back to my Sites pane, select my site, and enable the secure socket layer. The interface tells me that the port is going to be changed from 80 to 443 because SSL websites run on port 443. Just hit OK, save, and restart the web service. Now I can go back into Safari, just add an S, It'll show me that it's the default certificate, so it's not been trusted. I can hit Continue. And now I've got this web page secured by an SSL site. That's just some of the many configuration options that you have on Mac OS X server. When you're generating web pages, doing things with PHP, JavaScript, all of that, and utilizing the Apache web server on Mac OS X server.